So, John John, great performance by your team again. Uh, we saw how young Seni Tembe is uh, had a great impact on this game. Your seniors players stepped up. So, so, overall, it's been a good game. What would you make, what would you say was key to this performance today? Yeah, look, I think, um, you know, we probably we probably still didn't bowl as well as we could have. Um, but in saying that, um, I thought our first innings runs were vital to, yeah. to go 100 or so, just over 100 ahead on a wicket like this is always important. And then, um, and that was thanks to our bowlers batting at the end and, and uh, Kreshile batted brilliantly. And then Simon Harmer in that third innings for us was, was superb. To get seven for on a wicket like this was an unbelievable effort. Um, and then the batters uh, in the fourth innings again knocked it off really well. And what would you say about Sini Temba specifically? Uh, how he is coming to this team and, and really become a great important player for you guys well what has stood out to you about him specifically look obviously he's got a great skill set he, he can play pretty much to, uh, all over the ground but I think he, his character is uh, the best thing I think he's he's got a great temperament for this game um, you know we, we expecting him to do great things one day not just for our franchise but also for this country I think he's a really special player and um, you know he, he really he enjoys the fight you know he's, he's, his his character is really good and, and it's something we really enjoy at the Warriors and I wanted to ask you about, the, obviously the Mzanzi Super League happened and there's a lot of talk about Test Cricket and obviously the longer formats and how T20 has affected some players and how they adapt. You will know it more than anything then. You're playing all three formats. How does T20 Cricket actually affect your longer format game? Look, I think um, I would probably agree with what 5 plus C said a few, a few days ago about T20 cricket has made Test cricket a lot more exciting. Yes, we don't have uh, too many players who play like um, Pujara from England who, who can kind of bat the day out, but but I think the game's exciting now. You know, you can you can come in on a last day of a Test match needing 300 odd to win, and the team can still chase it. Where probably about 15 years ago that never happened. You know, and I think that's the exciting thing now is the you know everyone always talks about the competition between bat and ball. Um, the fact that with with more more aggressive batters coming in, there is naturally more chances for bowlers to take wickets. So I think that's the that's the really exciting thing. And I think if you look at it, how um, you know obviously India has been tough in their last few times in terms of their pitches, but it, everywhere else where the wickets to t turn on, let's say day four and five, if you look at the batter skill set now, how they handle it with reverse sweeps and sweeps, it's, it's a lot more exciting and it's it's it's, it's awesome to watch again. Um, you know, I, I grew up watching that Ashes in, in 205, and it's really exciting. Again, the, the, the competition yeah. between bat and ball is exciting, and Test cricket for me now is very exciting again because you know there's a great competition between bat and ball, and that's that's awesome to see. And with regards to first class cricket, how do you think it's improving in South Africa? Is it improving going forward? Yeah, I would say so. I think, um, you know, again, it's, you know, this whole thing about uh, run rates, economy rates as bowlers is probably now falling on the wayside and it's about getting wickets, getting wickets, scoring runs. Um, you know, you, you, that's that's the big thing in first class cricket now. You need you need to get your bonus points up front in the first innings and then second second innings you need to you need to push through for for trying to get a result to go your way and i think um you know with the positive mindset um if you have a look at it now last year there were a lot of draws this year there seem to be a hell of a lot of results um has a lot changed yeah maybe the wickets have gotten a little bit more bowler friendly but i still wouldn't say that i just think uh, the mindset of the teams has become very aggressive which is which is awesome to see